VRs caused a big problem. And it happened to me when I went to China. I started refereeing, not refereeing. I actually relied on the VAR and I was sad. I, I felt for the first month in China, I was going to quit. I think, what am I doing? Yeah, I've, lost yeah. me, I've lost me core ability to make a decision. decision As yeah. a referee, you made split second decisions Correct, yeah. and I was so comfortable at doing it. Yeah. I made how many in the Premier League? And oh, we didn't need VAR. Okay, I could have needed VAR sometimes, but not to the amount that they're using now. But I was frightened to make a decision. And now you've got all of, when I see these referees now, week in, week out, there's a fear and they're scared to make a decision. And the problem with when you're scared to make a decision, you don't make one. Yeah. And then the VAR doesn't make one either. So if we look like, for example, the West Ham decision yeah. against Chelsea. The penalty, Suset, that, wasn't the penalty Ham, that should have been a penalty. If this is not a penalty. It was a save, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, brilliant bit of goalkeeping from a defender, <laughs> well, a midfielder stroke defender. Yeah. But because the referee doesn't give it, the VR then goes, wait, me high level of intervention, whatever this is, I don't yeah. understand that. I don't want to give it because he's breaking his fall. So what he's then doing is you're compounding a mistake where if the referee just give the penalty because he should have seen it yeah. and had the courage to blow, mm. the VR would have supported it. So we've got, we've still got all of these problems. The referees are not making the original decisions, which we did in our time. 